Now, for given this polynomial, once again, we're going to start by grouping the like terms in descending order of the exponents. And so the first uh, highest exponent is going to be the x squared, so we're going to write negative x squared. Then we're going to bring in the positive 4x squared, then minus 4x, and there, then the minus 6x plus 3 minus 2. So now all these terms are ordered according to um, the descending order of their exponents. So the first is the ones with the exponent 2, then 1, then our constants. And re remember again, we can add or subtract like terms which have the same variable and the same exponent. So we can add or subtract the first two, then we can add or subtract, we can add or subtract minus 4x minus 6x, and we can add or subtract the 3 minus 2. So what we're going to do now is take a look at this question, and once again, we're going to look at representing these with algebra tiles. So negative 6x squared, remember that blue represents negative, and that the cubes are the x squared. So six of these cubes represent, each of these represents negative x squared, or negative 1x squared. And positive 4x squared is going to be represented by four red cubes. Negative 4x is going to be represented by four blue rectangular prisms. And negative 6x is going to be represented by six uh, blue rectangular prisms. Positive 3 is going to be represented by three red squares. And negative 2 is going to be represented by two blue squares. So now we're going to combine the like terms, and negative 6x squared plus 4x, well, once again, are terms that are like, um, we can add or subtract them, so that means that the red, each of these red squares, which is positive 1x squared, and each of these blue squares, which is negative 1x squared, are going to cancel each other out and become 0. So four blue squares are going to cancel out four red uh, sorry, four blue cubes are going to uh, cancel out four red cubes, and we're going to be left with negative two um, x squared, because remember each of these is, uh, represents negative one x squared, so two of them is going to be negative two x squared. Next we've got negative four x take away six x. And so none of these can cancel each other out, so we're left with then negative 10x, because we have 10 of these blue rectangular prisms, and each of these is negative 1, so 10 of them is going to be negative 10x. And for 3, so and let's back up, so negative 6x squared plus 4x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 4x minus 6x is negative 10x. And now we're going to do three mi positive 3 minus 2. Well, each red square represents positive 1, and each blue square represents negative 1, so they're going to cancel, one, one, each of these is going to cancel another one out, and we're left with then one red square, which represents positive 1.